orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrives with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine. Keep your head down. I'll handle the sniper. You stay here. Are you sure?
Haven't got a key. Shaw, he pickles. I see you are serious people going about your business, so I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Nikakich problem. I think this opens. Yet, who were those guys? Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. 
They were so terrified they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to traffic. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> They visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. But why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. <laughs> you got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So. Care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency aid. Too many foggies in the lower floors. So the lift's no longer. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel the salt and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex Second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy, were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And we're there. Come on in, sir. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam. What's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids or even something as noble as creating the kingdom of heaven on earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war, so could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now, when we're barely surviving after that one? Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is, first and foremost, a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. 
Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. Perfect, Edward. I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods, and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Klim will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says, I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. Ah, damn. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Mm. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. Wow, that's a nice surprise. All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. Here, you have some too. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Come on. Let's get it done. <laughs> oh. Oh. Disgusting. All right, I'm ready. Pull it hard. Hold on to your hat. Oh, you suck. <laughs> I don't think it worked. <laughs> Let me catch my breath. <laughs> and get one for yourself, too. Cheers. <coughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. All right, pulling. Damn, that was awful. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers. Cheers. I say, let's not go anywhere tonight. Mm. Not oh. bad at all. Okay, 
Let's go check the generator. Are you sure? When my actual bird sings and shouts, where the hell is my death machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, Sam. Shit. I ain't got it. Huh? You hear that? What? The music? Had we had some music? Amen to that. Same opening. That killed course. You're going to pay for killing our pal, you bitch. Come and get it. I wonder if anyone's coming to avenge these. <laughs>
stuff is mine now. My so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. No, no. Well, sorry. Jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. <coughs> it's because of him I'm hiding in this town, eating over the lies. So what do you got? Look, they're scared, our top boss. I think you know what... What? How did you... Who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. the bat wing roaming about we haven't seen it just heard it judging by its shouts it's huge and angry as hell and probably it's wounded thanks i'll keep that in mind next where do you need to go it's the fire depot you can see it from here the red building with a tower hey man no nope. can't open it 